AI kit in MuleSoft. Uh, now uh, we are focusing on uh, API kit. API kit is a tool for building Mule, REST or SOAP APIs. You develop APIs based on one of the following modeling languages. RESTful API modeling language RML 1.0 and uh, 0.8 versions. Web services description language WSDL. API kit simplifies the design and implementation of uh, REST APIs. API kit generates minimal mule flows based on either uh, RM, RML or WSDL that meet the communication operations required by a REST or web service contract respectively. Uh, in studio, the REST API, API kit project look, looks like this. This is the uh, REST API in, stu stu in any point studio UI with package explorer uh, and uh, canvas sections. Um, here five items uh, illustrated here show uh, one here the project files in the package explorer of studio um, uh, with the API dot uh, uh, RML file under uh, 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 here under um, here API dot RML, RML file uh, under uh, SRC forward slash main forward slash resources uh, then API um, folder number two uh, here the main flow with uh, uh, with the API kit uh, router here number three the API kit uh, console number four uh, error handling and number five uh, the uh, generated flows uh, for each resource method um, the, the generated minimal flows meet the communication operation operations required by a rest contract um, here in studio the SOAP API uh, API kit project look like this um, this uh, this is a SOAP API in AnyPoint Studio uh, UI with the package explorer and uh, canvas sections. The four items illustrated here shows uh, uh, number one here the project files uh, in um, package explorer or of Studio. Um, with the uh, example dot wsdl file under uh, src forward slash main forward slash resources uh, forward slash api folder um, then number two the main flow with the uh, soap router number three soap uh, fault response template uh, number four generated backend flows containing uh, soap messages message templates after you create your api kit project you can uh, continue building the application by performing calls to test api um, And finalize its implementation. Um, here, as an API kit and it anatomy, the Resto SOAP Studio project uses API kit has uh, following part: REST or SOAP interface, um, main flow, and backend flow. Here, we are considering uh, REST Studio project here. 
the uh, in the rest in, uh, interface relationship between uh, rest resources and actions are called resource action plan uh, pairing uh, the interface exposes the internal data assets requested by the REST service. Um, also, the interface define API designating resources that contain no access data and specify actions such as get and put on the example example data. Here you can see API console interacts with uh, RML. Uh, here you can see uh, the API main, API uh, console and uh, uh, API config here. This is flow one, this is flow two and um, uh, here you can see HTTP colon listener dash config and API kit colon uh, config the main uh, the, then flow name equal API main etc and you can see here API kit colon router here you can see uh, here you can see a uh, SOAP studio project um, in the SOAP uh, interface the interface defined by uh, a WSDL file exposes a number of services uh, each service has a set of operations. The underlying uh, uh, type of data is XML um, defined by schemas um, within WSDL uh, uh, file or by an imported XSD file. Here you can see uh, SOAP UI interacts with WSDL and here you can see uh, API main here, the SOAP route is here and uh, API SOAP kit dash config here. Uh, sorry API uh, yeah, SOAP kit dash config is here and uh, SOAP kit dash config is here, this is flow one and this is flow 2 and here you can see http colon listener dash config api kit dash uh, uh, soap colon config and flow name api main etc Here you can see a REST API uh, main flow. Um, the main flow for uh, RAML based API manage, uh, manages these functions, uh, exposes the API using uh, uh, JET, uh, HTTP or JETI, routes um, request between the interface uh, and the backend flows based on HTTP request. Um, routes, um, reference exception strategies that produce HTTP status code responses. The API kit uh, router tasks include routing messages, uh, serializing responses and validating payloads, headers, query params and URI params. Message routing consists uh, of routing incoming API requests uh, to existing mule flows um, and returning outgoing uh, HTTP response codes to uh, exceptions. Here you can see HTTP uh, is connected to API kit router and key API kit router is connected to here and uh, you can see the reference exception strategy here here you can see uh, SOAP API main flow um, the main flow for 
WA, WSDL based API managers uh, the, the first two tasks um, um, the logic in the main flow accepts requests um, sends responses and facilitate communication uh, between interfaces and API process the main flow typically consists of uh, HTTP listener and uh, SOAP router components. Here you can see a uh, forward slash t-shirt service forward slash t-shirt service port. I, uh, it's there and it's connected to SOAP router and it is connected to here and you can see the error handling here. Uh, here uh, you can see the uh, how API kit works with RAML. Uh, the following diagram shows uh, how a RAML based API built by API kit processes uh, end user uh, request. Um, here uh, in uh, Step one, you can see uh, the end user sends HTTP request uh, to API. In step two, uh, uh, the HTTP uh, or JT endpoint in the main flow receives the request and passes the message to message to API kit router. In step three, uh, the router checks with the interface uh, to, uh, to confirm that the resource action pair exists in the, in the interface. Uh, step four, uh, here the router checks where to see uh, if a body is defined as part of the request generally a request sends a body with uh, put post uh, uh, patch requests um, in a step uh, if the request includes a body, the router uh, determines the media type associated with the body, then matches the request content type with the one defined uh, in the interface. In step 6, uh, uh, if a schema is defined for the content type, the router checks uh, that the schema on the incoming request matches the schema defined in the interface. Uh, if the schema is not valid, the application rejects the uh, request. In step 7, um, the router uses the information contained in the interface to uh, determine with backward uh, determine which backward uh, backend flow should receive the request for example based on the request and the resource action pairing the router determines what it should send the request uh, to flow to in step 8 router send the request uh, to flow 2 in uh, step 9 the flow two process, uh, the the flow two processes the request, um, accessing the res accessing a resource and acting upon uh, data uh, as required. In step uh, in flow ten, step ten, uh, flow two returns a response to the router. In step eleven. Uh, the the router pushes the response to the http or jetty endpoint 
step 12 uh, the http or jetty endpoint sends the response to the to the end user and step 13 uh, from the console um, you can simulate api calls by submitting uh, requests uh, through the web user interface Uh, here you can see single mule, mule studio project inside it you can see uh, rml raml uh, api definition end user and config.xml here interface.raml um, so interface.raml uh, interacts with uh, config.xml and uh, config.xml interacts with end user uh, single mule uh, uh, here single mule studio project here uh, in uh, config.xml you can see api kit call call and config is there and exception strategy is there and flows are here and uh, uh, config.xml uh, xml interacts with uh, any point platform private cloud uh, edition or on cloud storage and uh, you can see the console here console uh, the console interacts with a single mule studio project and here you can see get and uh, here you can see post request and here response in console as an example we can consider create a new project uh, new uh, api kit project uh, this procedure launches uh, the new project and generate a main flow with an HTTP listener and an uh, API kit router and references to flows to handle errors. The project support uh, REST resources and methods. These flows called skeleton flows are the bare minimum structure needed to support uh, the RM RAML specification. The RAML files imported by this procedure is located at um, src forward slash main forward slash api. Uh, step on uh, the download the example file uh, to your local drive. Uh, step two, uh, from the file menu, select new then mule project. Step three, in the uh, new mule project wizard, enter, uh, enter a project name, my project for example. Mule server 3.8.0 will be selected by default in the runtime section. Um, and uh, step 4, check at API kit components. Step 5, in the API kit settings section, select the downloaded api.raml example file. And uh, step 6, click finished. Here you can see uh, a screenshot of step 5. Uh, so here in the API kit uh, settings section, select uh, the uh, down downloaded downloaded API dot RML example file here. Uh, and uh, if you uh, if you run the project, for example, uh, API returns the list of machines. Uh, uh, the output is is the payload set on the message by get uh, colon forward slash machines colon api config flow. Uh, this is a sample output here. As an example too in XML, uh, we can consider uh, API the API kit element here. Uh, so here uh, api kit config uh, the api kit configuration this is a required uh, uh, required one um, and here you can see api kit namespace and uh, uh, schema namespace and schema locations uh, now, now we are considering uh, API uh, API kit overview uh, API kit is a toolkit uh, 
that uh, simplifies the development of API led applications for mule developers. It is scaffold the application from given specification, validate inputs parameter valid, uh, validation, and uh, create mule uh, immune test suits. API kit has a module for each supported web uh, service type. Uh, API kit for uh, graph uh, QL supports uh, graph QL APIs. Uh, and API kit for OData v2 version 2 and API kit for OData version 4 support OData APIs. API kit for uh, REST support RML, RML and uh, OAS APIs. API kit for uh, SOAP support SOAP APIs. Uh, with API kit, uh, incoming requests are intelligent, intelligently routed to the appropriate endpoints based on the defined API contracts. This routing mechanism simplified the request handling, improves performance and ensures that the requests are processed by the correct API resources. Uh, although uh, each uh, module is designed for family of web services, all modules share common usage patterns. So if you are a Mule developer who works with SOAP APIs, you can easily work with uh, GraphQL, RML, or Data, or OAS APIs. Here you can, we are now here you can see the uh, 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 what's new in the API kit for uh, GraphQL 1.0.0 for uh, Mule 4 release notes in the API kit release notes. It's uh, here uh, the API kit for GraphML module is released. Uh, uh, now we are considering uh, uh, language and uh, protocol support in uh, API kit compatibility. Uh, here the uh, RESTful API modeling language RAA, RAML 1.0 and 0.8. Uh, open API specification OAS 2.0 and 3.0, OData 2.0 and 4.0, uh, SOAP uh, 1.1 and 1.2. Uh, now we are considering select sources in uh, mapping uh, graph uh, QL API to your data sources in API kit for graph QL. Uh, uh, module sources uh, vary depending on the implementation of your graph QL uh, API. API kit for graph uh, QL uh, provides two kinds of sources, uh, data fetchers and data loaders. Your selection depends on uh, your imp implementation needs. GraphQL is transport layer agnostic. So you uh, choose the main connector listener depending on protocol that you want to serve your data. Uh, now we are considering uh, querying uh, GraphQL uh, API implementation. Uh, here the trigger request, uh, this is in the API kit for query QL, oh, sorry, GraphQL. The following examples illustrate the implementation of GraphQL service to uh, query data using API kit for GraphQL. Before running this example, download and run the API kit for GraphQL application example in the documentation, uh, which loads a simple data set in memory for testing purposes. Uh, the example application is based on the following GraphQL uh, API. You can see here type post ID, uh, ID, ID, user, user, type, title string, body string, commands, command, etc. And uh, request core example, uh, uh, the following, uh, in the following example, the type query define the uh, list of queries that are uh, that the services exposes here the type query here the uh, look for uh, uh, user uh, by id here the look for a post by uh, id here returns the list of all uh, users uh, here the returns the list of all uh, posts retrieve all posts this uh, 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 this uh, use case makes the simplest uh, uh, request for the data of each existing post. Here, the uh, uh, here you can see the uh, make a query here, all post ID, title, body. Uh, trigger a request here. Here, the uh, get a response. You can see ID title body, ID title body here also, ID title body for the old posts. Uh, now here, now we are considering uh, installing OData version two tooling in API Kit for OData. To install uh, the API Kit for OData version two plugin in Anypaint Studio, first uh, install uh, select uh, help, then uh, install uh, new software, then add uh, to the uh, in, in name type API Kit for OData version two update site. 
uh, in the tree in location type your url of the site uh, https colon for site for site studio dot mules dot org for slash s4 for site api kit for all data for uh, select add uh, five uh, select any point or data plugin and next uh, six uh, accept the terms and condition of the product and select finished seven uh, restart uh, studio to complete the installation uh, now we are considering uh, a retrieval list of customers uh, in uh, uh, building implementing and uh, testing all data version 2 api here they call the rest api to uh, retrieve the list of customers here uh, the response is uh, like this as an example now we are considering installing all data version 2 to well, version 4 tooling in api kit for all data version 2 well, version 4 uh, to install uh, the api kit for data version 4 plugin in any point uh, studio uh, select help then install a new software and then click add uh, to the uh, in the name uh, sorry in name the type uh, api kit for data version 4 up, uh, 4 update site uh, and in location type uh, in url of the site for example here uh, then click add uh, sorry uh, here the, the type the url here uh, uh, then uh, click add five uh, select uh, any point or data plugging and then uh, click uh, next Six uh, accept the uh, terms and condition of the product and click finish and re then uh, seven restart the studio to complete the installation. Uh, here you can see uh, uh, the get request example uh, uh, in uh, building, implementing, and testing an API in API kit for O data for implementation example here. Uh, the request is here and uh, customer. BLA or blouse and response is here. Uh, now we are considering uh, uh, design new API specification with uh, design with uh, designer from design. Uh, sorry, uh, design new API specification uh, uh, in uh, building imp implementation and testing the REST API in API kit for rest uh, design api specification with api designer from the design center with the api specification project tool uh, from any point studio or with the test editor if you uh, if, uh, of your choice one uh, create uh, json file including uh, uh, a list of users uh, that serve as an example of what the service uh, uh, returns uh, to save it as uh, for example uh, user underscore example dot json create a new uh, blank file with the following api specification here Uh, save uh, it as uh, api.raml uh, file uh, in the in the studio select file new uh, file then new then uh, new mod new project six uh, in the project name type the name of your mule project uh, if you are Im uh, importing api specification from exchange select import to pub publish api and click uh, plus icon and then select uh, from exchange if you are implementing api specification from the local file if you are in your file system select import rml from local file if you are importing api specification from your design center select download rml from design center seven uh, select scaffold uh, flows from the, these api specifications if not already uh, selected uh, click finish uh, uh, api kit uh, generates the uh, necessary flows based on the api specification you uh, imported uh, nine uh, run your uh, project uh, uh, by uh, uh, by clicking uh, run then run as then uh, mule application uh, now we are considering validating uh, query parameter uh, headers uh, uh, 
in uh, configuring behavior during uh, runtime uh, in uh, API kit for REST. Uh, configure API router to validate uh, headers and query parameters restricting them to attribute uh, specified in your API specification. Uh, select uh, first uh, in C2D select API kit router then uh, to uh, click edit your router configuration. Three select your parameter strict uh, validations. Uh, Uh, validations to restrict usage of query parameters to the ones defined in your API specification. Uh, for select headers, uh, strict uh, this is the uh, query parameter strict validation. Uh, for select header strict validations uh, to limit the header to the ones specified in your API specification. Uh, you can configure API kit router to uh, uh, validate headers and uh, query parameters by updating API kit configuration code as follows here. Now we are considering identifying uh, uh, identity operations to implement uh, to implement in uh, implementing SOAP uh, SOAP uh, interface uh, in API kit for SOAP. Uh, to know what happens with an implemented operation, make the API uh, fail uh, fail using uh, SOAP UI. Uh, follow, st follow steps in the following example here to create a request in SOAP UI using order shirt order T-shirt. Uh, uh, operation for a customer named uh, uh, John. Uh, because the API cannot handle this operation, a SOAP, uh, SOAP uh, fault occurs. Uh, in the SOAP uh, UI, create uh, a new uh, SOAP uh, project and put the uh, URL for your deployed Mule API kit uh, project in the initial WSDL file. Uh, In this example, uh, as an example, URL HTTP uh, colon forward slash, forward slash local loss colon uh, 8081 forward slash t shirt service forward slash t shirt service uh, port question mark WSDL. Two, uh, in the SOAP UI, in SOAP UI, uh, request a large t shirt for John by entering uh, t uh, some values uh, uh, into the request envelope. A uh, select projects then t-shirt service port question mark wsdl then t-shirt service uh, soap binding uh, in uh, uh, order shirt then request one then enter l between size tags uh, enter job between uh, name tags uh, submit the request the result is the soap fault here As an error example, you can uh, consider this one. Uh, this code snippet uh, code sec. Uh, uh, in API kit 4.0 replaces the exception strategy and error mapping uh, with uh, the mule runtime 4.0 error handler. Uh, this error handler uses error types as shown in this uh, snippet, uh, snippet here. Each error response is generated using uh, uh, data view. Here uh, you can see uh, uh, API kit uh, uh, bad underscore request uh, type. The status code is uh, uh, 400. Uh, and the message is uh, bad request here yeah. 